Hello beautiful people! My name is Wendy and I'm an energetic natural healer. Actually I'm a therapist, registered therapist in energetic healing. Personally I follow a raw vegan high fruit fruitarian diet or lifestyle and I've been incorporating more and more of this lifestyle into my therapies as well and helping people with this diet or transitioning to the diet to gain more of their health. So this video is about um, seaweed and different kind of seaweeds and if you should eat them or you should not eat them. So the question is, should you eat seaweed or do I eat seaweed? Well, I must say, yes, I do, but maybe not enough. The main seaweed that I like momentarily is kelp. And kelp is like a really amazing uh, seaweed because it has all these minerals in it and all these vitamins in it that they can help you. So for example, it's full of magnesium, which helps with relaxation and your muscle structure. It's got calcium and zinc, which is the, you know, the powerful three minerals that you need in order to um, grow bones, you know? And you know, it's got even vitamin K, which is also what you need to grow bones. And all these minerals plus vitamins really help with your thyroid function as well. It's got some iodine, which help with your uh, thyroid function. And as well as all these B vitamins, like um, folic acids is B11 and um, B5, B3. And they're all in this one little plant called kelp. And it grows all over the world, you know? So some people say like, Wendy, maybe I shouldn't eat seaweed because there is all these, you know, toxic waste products that we use on our land in our factories and comes in the sea and then, it, you know, the kelp grows there. So it's in the kelp. Well, let me tell you this. All these diseases we see, all these issues people have, it isn't because they are on a raw food diet or a high f raw vegan diet. It's because they're eating all this other junk, all these other chemicals. And yes, maybe there is a trace of something in there, but there is a trace of something in the air. You know, when you walk in a city, um, when you drink your water, even if you have a filtered water, you know, it's not perfect. Um, and if you eat an apple, maybe, but all those things, breathing fresh air, outside air, having seaweed from the sea, having an apple, it's still better than having high processed cooked foods and all these chemicals that they put in all these jars and packages in the supermarket. So if you should ask me, if you ask me like, should you eat seaweed? I think, yes, it's a really good food source um, it's got, by the way, loads of amino acids, even some proteins in there, like plant proteins to help you um, build your muscles and stuff. So yeah, it's a really good thing that you can incorporate. I'm not suggesting that you eat it every day, but just incorporate it in your diet. Um, buy it sometime, have a week or two that you eat a little bit or more of it, and then you're like a couple of weeks you don't. And also when you feel attracted to it, you like, for example, the taste of wakame. I have that go through periods. I'm just so attracted to wakame, which is another seaweed that I just, I just love it. And I want to eat the whole thing. There's one thing that I want you to know, and you have to look out for this. And that's the following. In a supermarket, especially those Asian Chinese supermarkets, they sell wakame and kelp in, in plastic bags with a conservative of salt. So they put like enormous, enormous amounts of salt extra in there. And that's how it's dried and preserved. And I suggest if you have those or if you've bought those to really rinse it well, like wash it really well, and then you can eat it. So yeah, enjoy your seaweed. My name's Wendy, I'm from the Netherlands. And if you like this video, please give me a like uh, and subscribe to my video on my channel right here below. Bye bye.